it's a con a conviction almost. Yeah. Okay, so we're stuck with it. I mean, despite my very well laid presentation, you're pretty much saying that it's unlikely that a president will co consider it important enough to. Uh, to make such a drastic change? Well, uh, it would be a drastic change, um, but I certainly agree with you that, uh, that the, the, the headquarters of the various branches of the national government are, are, too, are, are extremely fragmented. It is a nightmare to go around from the Senate to the House and then back to, and then, and then back to the palace, like pe uh, the paper has to flow. And um, yeah, it, and I think it, it would, uh, it would do much for people's faith and, and uh, belief in government if they could see a symbolic unity. Um, I was recently in Washington, D.C. myself, and it is, uh, it's amazing, and you, you can really get the sense of, of, the, uh, uh, of the government of the United States of America just, by, just in one sweeping panorama, say, from the, from the, from the Washington Monument. Mm -hmm. uh, you could see the White House over there. You can see um, the Capitol down there, and you know that just behind the Capitol is the Supreme Court and all the grand edifices of the, of the bureaucracy in between. Uh, you feel that, uh, despite what you, you may read in the news or, or, or see on CNN, that it's a, uh, it's a republic that functions well, or at least that um, has been designed Mm -hmm. To function well. So, um, well, let's 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 uh, let's not be terribly realistic. Um, where could that happen? I mean, the the Burnham plan had uh, had uh, pretty much put it in uh, Quezon City. Yes. Um, well, no, the oh, the Frost Arellano yes. plan. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the Burnham plan had it. Um, yes, as you said, more or less uh, where the U.S. Embassy is uh, today, sort of between there and the the back of uh, and Museo Pambata, that that area. Um, no, the Senate is somewhat already in that area, yes. and I suppose a case can be made for. But of course, it's renting. It's not. It, it doesn't have its own building. It's renting from uh, from GSIS, uh, a portion of the ah, of so the GSIS th building. Okay, then that would be the most expendable one of the. <laughs> I, I suppose of the agencies, the, the one that would be most easy to transfer, if only in, in you know in an effort to bring them closer together. Sure, and I I, I think it would. Uh, a lot of people would enjoy seeing the House and Senate in closer proximity. And um, in the National Museum where I work, uh, of course, that used to be the original, uh, the original building where both House and Senate um, uh, resided. Uh, and you, one can't help but ha have the feeling that oh, that was a far more efficient arrangement, I would think, in having the two chambers work together and, uh, and deal with each other, as they must, because they are co-equal. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I do remember also President Ramos uh, talking about um, his his plan to have the palace move to to Fort Bonifacio, oh, right. and I don't see why that that uh, kind of uh, plan cannot cannot be revived. Mm -hmm. Certainly, um, do you recall how much it would have cost? Uh, what, no, what, but yeah. but you you were right in saying that it was part of the basis conversion uh, conversion plan, so it was supposed to have been funded uh, uh, funded out of that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, certainly. Well, I'm not ready to say Malacanang is a jinxed house. I mean, uh, uh, for I think uh, we've been very blessed in this country never to have had an assassinated president or anything like that. Though, of course, um, of course, uh, we've had some uh, attempts. Attempts, I guess. attempts. Okay. Attempt. Well, a final question: um, Would it diminish the presidency any if uh, uh, President-elect Noynoy Aquino were to choose to live in Times Street? Oh, on the contrary, I think uh, with his um, remarkable mandate uh, and his. Uh, uh, and his uh, authority uh, and uh, in these in these matters um I think he's perfectly entitled to to set a, a new tone uh, certainly following in the footsteps of his of his mother mrs Aquino um, it would the question would be basically a logistical security and protocular one uh, uh, whether um, uh, whether it would be proper to receive uh, official visitors I in one's home uh, as opposed to in an official residence. Mm -hmm. uh, those are, those those are, are more questions, questions that have yeah. to be figured out because mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. President Aqu uh, Corazon Aquino, uh, of course, um, still used the, 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 the official rooms and halls of Malacanang for official activities and okay. resided around the corner. So I, that would have to be studied as, as to the, the propriety of all the arrangements, but I think uh, with his mandate and how people know uh, and, and how, uh, how he would like to um, set a new tone in his presidency, as, as I've, everyone has heard him say, that uh, he certainly has, um, has a window 
uh, to explore uh, to explore uh, Something a new. new type of arrangement. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Jeremy, for joining us, and thanks, sweetheart, for your help. I'm Drake Makareig. This is the Explainer. <laughs>